Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here with a retirement card today. So I am using Jaded Blossom's Congratulations and their Congratulations Outline Dies, along with their Medical Dies, their Sentiment Strip Dies, and their Card Mat Dies. I'm also pulling in the Fancy Heart Dies a little later too. I'm using um, Doodlebug's So Punny 6-inch pad, along with their Take Note 6-inch pad, and their Rainbow Petite Prince Floral Graph. So I went ahead and I cut out that graph paper um, from Doodlebug from that Floral Graph six inch paper line that's just the white and gray and I'm cut it out using the card mat dies uh, cut it out with our with my Gemini machine excuse me everybody I've been sick so this is my voice for right now <laughs> doesn't sound great but you know it's getting us there okay so now this is a horror or a landscape um card base made out of red poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Inc. 5.5 inches by eight and a half, cut at um, or scored at four and a quarter inches. So now I'm adding a piece of paper, it's like two inches wide, to the front of the card from that So Punny card, um, from that So Punny six inch pad from Doodlebug. And it just has little pills all over it. Now, this was a requested card for my son. My son is an RN um, at the local hospital. And someone from his unit is retiring, so he wanted a retirement card. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm making a medical retirement card. And as you notice, I had it upside down. So I had to fix that. So I went ahead and I cut out that little heart rhythm. Now, it's not a perfectly accurate heart rhythm. <laughs> but it's a heart rhythm nevertheless that's what it represents and I cut it out of that same red poppy cardstock and I'm using um, art glitter glue and a pair of reverse tweezers and I'm just going to line that up I'm working on a stampin up pad and I just want to kind of line that up um, to have everything straight and there we go so this was a really quick and easy card like I said made for a nurse that's retiring and there we go just trying to make sure everything's straight and then I'll get that in place. I love Jada Blossom's dies. I love the stitching. I think it adds just a little something, something. And there I go. I'm just sort of scraping off any, any little hangers on with my bamboo skewer. That's actually what I use to pop the dies out. Um, I always keep one on my work surface. There we go. So now on the inside, I'm just going to add a piece of paper trank white cardst cardstock, four by five and a quarter inches. Uh, with my ATG tape there and I'm just going to line that up on the inside it just gives a nice spot to be able to write to the recipient there we go so I didn't even speed this video up this was a really easy card to make there we go so I went ahead and you can see I already stamped the word congrats and cut it out with the outline die which is fabulous and now I'm going to put together the hypodermic needle. It's just two pieces. I use two different colors of gray cardstock from American Crafts, and I'm just layering those up with my art glitter glue. There we go. And like I said, super fast little needle. I've got a little white pill I already cut out using the um, pill die. Now I'm going to pop up my little word congrats um, with Stampin' Up Dimensionals. You'll notice that I stamped onto Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock with First Fine Claire Nocturne ink. All my stamping today was done with that. And I used my Misty. And then I went ahead and I cut them out using the outline dies and then our sentiment strip dies from Jada Blossom uh, with my Gemini machine. So that's about it. So I'm adding my little dimension there onto the back of this. I think a dimension kind of makes everything a little bit more special, right? There we go. So back to my son. He requested this card. I never say no when it comes to card making. I'd rather make him one than him go out and buy one and there we go and I think it kind of makes it a little bit more special right there we go so there's the word congrats my kids are kind of spoiled now they kind of always get homemade cards so there we are so now I'm going to put in congrats on your and then retirement I used um why am I drawing a blank on that type of 3m foam tape sorry for that just because it was easy to cut out with a pair of scissors and there we go. I love the new congratulations stamp set along with their outline dies. I just think it makes for some fast and easy cards. So now I'm using um, 3M foam tape again and I'm going to line that up on the back of this needle here. 
There we go. And I'm just going to trim off the extra. And then I will be popping up my little hypodermic needle. Funny enough, I'm a retired nurse and I absolutely hate getting needles. <laughs> it's just a little fun fact for you. There you go. Didn't mind giving them, hated receiving them. I'm a bit of a baby. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to line up this little hypodermic needle. It's kind of a big needle, let's be honest. There we go. And then I'm going to pop on my little pill. I'm going to pop that on with some 3M foam tape on the back also. So just making it, you know, really quick and easy stuff. There we are. Jada Blossom has a bunch of different medical um, sentiments that you can use also. There's Kawaii um, medical stamps. There's just a bunch of stuff you can use. So now I'm going to make these like people and add little eyeballs with Doodlebug's shape sprinkles in ICU. And I know people get kind of, I, think, I don't know if you get sick of this, but I love adding eyeballs to, to these inanimate objects. I don't know what it is. It just makes me laugh. And especially these kooky eyeballs, they just look hilarious. There we go. So I'm just going to pop those onto my little hypodermic needle with, with a pen blade. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this um, pill. And there we go. So getting them both on. Isn't that cute? Ugh. Love it, love it. Okay, so now on the inside, I'm going to add a strip of paper. That is like a half inch strip. And that is from that Take Note six inch pad from um, Doodlebug. And I'm just going to add um, that to the inside bottom of my card um, with a little bit of art glitter glue, like I said. And I kind of like the stripes, you know, adds a little something, something, right? And then I've got a strip of pills that's from that same So Punny um, Doodlebug six inch pad but it's got um there's a page that has a bunch of borders on it and I just cut out the pill border so it's like really thin and I'm just going to add that to the top of this stripy layer I'm just gonna rub off the extra glue there and there we go adding my little pill layer isn't that cute I just think they're so cute there we go and I will cut off the overhang there with my scissors of course I don't have it uh, I do have it in the screen not too bad. And then I will trim off the edges. There we go. And then I'm going to grab the one thing that I didn't show you, our fancy heart dies, and I'm going to add in some little hearts um, cut out of that same pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm going to add three just, you know, surrounding my images and the sentiment um, with the edge of our Stampin' Up Dimension or with my Stampin' Up Dimensionals. There we go. I know my voice is a little rough. I'm just getting over COVID. Yes, I was vaccinated. No, I have no idea how I got it, but this is life. I got over it fine. I'm doing fine, but my rough, my voice is a little bit rough still. Um, and there you have it. So I'm just going to pop on this last little heart. And there we go. And I think it turned out pretty darn cute. So I hope Jacob's co-worker likes it. That's my son's name. And that's about all. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, the Jada Blossom store. And I did make this for our May Anything Goes Challenge. So, just challenge. so come and join us over at the Jada Blossom blog. I'd love to see what you make. Thanks, and we will see you soon in my next video. Bye, everyone.